Hello friends. After the end of the advent calendar, quite a few of you said you missed having just a coffee and a chat. So I've come up with this imaginatively named new feature. So here we are then, we should start obviously with the coffee. As you saw, this is a coffee made of coffee beans that I ground up. Now, this is not from the people that made all the coffee for the advent calendar. This is from a local coffee roaster. And as I liked the Kenya Blue Mountain so much from the advent calendar set, I thought I'd get some of there Kenyan Blue Mountain. Very nice it is indeed. Now I'm not going to go on about the coffee roaster at the moment because I might pop in there one day and see if he'd like to sponsor the channel. You never know. However, it's very, very nice coffee. But we also need to have a chat. So I figured if I called this coffee and a chat, we could talk about anything. It wouldn't necessarily need to be a particular slot car. It wouldn't need to be slot cars as such. It could be a, you know, I don't know, some kind of random concept vaguely related to the hobby. Or it could be the subject of the channel itself. And more specifically, if those of you that remember from about July time, when I was heading towards 1,000 subscribers, Mrs. Slotter bought me a car in a box and said I wasn't allowed to open it until I hit a thousand subscribers. Well, at time of recording, I think another 120 subscribers would get me to 2000. Which brings me to this. Slot R. Don't open until 2000 subscribers. Little smiley face. Now, she's done it again, but she's given us a little bit of a mystery. There are th three things that Mrs. Slotar has said about what is in this box. The first of which is, it is not something I have ever put on my birthday or Christmas wish lists. And that kind of rules out a Revo slot because for my Christmas wish list, I just picked one of every model of Revo slot that I don't have, my favorite available livery and put them all on a list in the hope that I might get one. So if it's never been on a list, it probably can't be a Revo slot, I would imagine. The second thing she said is, it won't be an NSL 500. And the reason for that is, round this way at least, Fiat 500s, the general ones, not so much the Abarth ones, are driven by just the worst drivers. And Mrs. Slotar, she, let's say she likes to make good progress through the traffic. So dithery drivers are not her thing. So she has a particular hatred of Fiat 500s from that point of view. So she couldn't bring herself to buy me one. The third thing she said is she watched all of the Advent videos and made notes everywhere I said, oh, I should probably get another one of those next year or, oh, I should get some more of these or I would like some more to make a set of, which you would think would narrow it down. But I went back through the videos and I think I said that about the Slottits. I think I said it about the Carrera Capris. I think I said it about the sideways BMW 320s and possibly separately about the sideways Mark II Escorts. There's a lot of, co oh, and the Legends. I said more Legends and possibly more Ninko Karts. So yeah. It hasn't really narrowed it down much, other than the fact that 
it's not going to be a Fiat 500 and it's not going to be probably a Revo slot unless she's bluffing because she can do that sometimes. So yes, I think we've got about 120 subscribers to go and then we can find out what's in the box. Good chat. Cheers.